and welcome to this week's ASFN News Flash. Remember that you can send your catches to Grand Elite at asfn.co.za. That is Grand Elite at asfn.co.za. We kickstart this week with Shav and Gavinder that caught quite an interesting looking fish at Port Dunford. This is called a black back puffer fish. This is definitely a new species for Sheldon and it was caught on his Dawa 11 foot 6 spinning. Salvin also used a Dawa 4000 20 pound J braid, a chaka and prawn combo for bait. Then Kravali Gavinda with a leopard ray that she hooked on her Dawa 4000. This is caught in a chaka squid bait and thank you to Kujen Gavinda for assisting with the release. Then Heinrich de Blanche has been quite active on the angling side, setting in a beautiful eagle ray, an 8 kilogram cob and a bronze breed. At the hunt tour, Stephen Smith got stuck into the cob again, with the biggest one being a cob of 13 kilograms, 7.8 kilograms, and the last one a cob of 5.4 kilograms. Stephen was using his Poseidon Heavy, his BG 50H, and 0.47 Dawa tournament line. All of these fish were caught on live mullets. On the ambassador's side, Rob Hamilton gets stuck into the spirit of Baby Shark with this beautiful fish. This was caught in his Dawa tournament 15 foot, Saltus 8000. 40 pound J braid. And when the weather is bad and Dean can't go out fishing, he gets a head start teaching his kids. So, uh, I want to catch two fishes. So, the weather isn't conducive to be out fishing. So, uh, I'm gonna catch messing around with the kids here. And uh, I've got my two Taiwa, my la our, our latest Taiwa ambassadors here. And uh, Kellen and Aria. Kellen's busy uh, tying his trace there. Aria, Tracy is ready, Aria. Tell us what uh, rod and reel you're using there. Crab. I'm using a crab. Using a crab as bait, yes. Yes, Kelly's using a jellyfish. Kelly's using a jellyfish, okay. Mm. And, and what rod are you using? What's the name of it? Mm. Sorry, what's that? I didn't get that. Saltus. Is it a saltus? Okay. Yeah. Fishing has been good on the Western Cape for Nantaka, catching this beautiful plus minus 19 kilogram bronze whaler. Caught in his Dawa Saltiga 50 HA, his salt is heavy, 0.55 Kingfisher Giant Abrasion, and a tuna circle hook. In the evening session, later that week, Anan took two of his friends out and they got stuck into the bronzes again and a beautiful cob. Every mullet, uh, every mullet you put out. was using his Dawa tournament 15 foot, his Dawa Saltus 6500 and 40 pound Dawa Jaybread. In another evening session later that week, for Anand, the Dawa magic did the trick again with this beautiful bronze whaler. We hooked up here, we had focals here, uh, waited long for a pull here, and uh, I think I'm finally on with something, I think it's a bronzy, we go over all these rods here. Took a bit of line in the beginning, but seems to be coming. I don't think it's a very big fish. But uh, finally, yeah, I was having a tough day at work, so I decided to come fishing. And yeah, fishing beats any bad day you're having at the office for sure. But yeah, I'm holding it. Got 50 pound J braid here from my Salter's 8000. And the tournament. Threw a nice size bait out. And yeah, on here now. Freshwater side, Brendan Fraser got himself this beautiful 38 pound cob. Brendan was using his Dawa Power Mesh 12 foot, his Cross Cars 5500A, and 30 pound quarter apex braid. On the offshore side, things are looking great with Tyron Bain catching a number of Dorado, some yellowfin tuna, and also getting a Sally on the boat. This Sally was caught by Tyron's friend and safely released. And when the fishing is wild offshore, you can be sure that Marcus Portgitter is present. Landing this beautiful 28 kilogram yellowfin tuna, a sailfish, and a number of dorado. South Coast Josh Pretoria has got this beautiful cob. Josh used his Saltus Elite 15 foot 6, medium heavy, 
is now as salt as 6,500 and 40 pound dial watch overhead. Well that wraps it up for this week's catches and remember that you can send your catches to grindelite at asfn.co.za that is grindelite at asfn.co.za Please remember to include your name and surname, where you caught the fish, what tackle you caught it on and what bait you used. That's it from us for this week, we'll see you next week, same place, same time, goodbye.